Oh. <laughs> it's ten past one in the morning, in the afternoon. How drunk are we already? Pretty Patrick? Drunk. Pretty drunk. <laughs> we're, we're only one bit in, but we are topping up from last night. So. And what are we going to see today? Pause. Uh, pause. I'm going to Youth Lagoon at four. Uh, Can you yes. tell the tragic Youth, Lu youth Lagoon story? We, we took Ian to see Youth Lagoon yesterday. He's, He's never seen them, and he is a massive fan. A massive fan. And they played two songs, and he almost cried. So having uh, hung out with Mrs. Toad, gone for a nice meal uh, with her on one of the days, gone and got myself tattooed the previous day, I figured today was the day I should spend hanging out with um, the lads. That would be Andy and Paddy from Jerry Loves Records here in Edinburgh, and of course Ian who helps me out with Song by Toad Records. Uh, we started out on South Congress uh, going to Home Slice Pizza to see Paws play one of the many, many free outdoor gigs that you can find at South By, uh, before trundling back into town and just everything just got steadily, steadily messier from about one o'clock in the afternoon onwards. <laughs> Next to your hipster twin. <laughs> <laughs> My toad have taken great effort to track down a native hipster for you who will translate for the modern and fashionable young middle class person. Ian, how were Youth Lagoon this afternoon? Audacious. Andy, how organised are you exactly? Fairly organised. Fairly organised. That organised. Got me a girl I haven't said at all. She started feeling alone. How good were the toilets in the Hilton again? Gnarly! Audacious. I've already done Audacious. Oh, okay. Translating for the modern hipster, we have Mr. Ian Greenhill. Mr. Ian Greenhill, how were Ra Ra Riot today? Bad, which means good.
is Mr. Ian Greenhill. Mr. Ian Greenhill, how were cheetahs? Radical. We started out at Whole Foods for breakfast, we went out to South Congress, came back to around 6th Street, then off down Red River to Club de Ville and eventually ended up sloping out into East Austin to go to Rio Rita's and end up at the Panache booking party and after that honestly it got fuzzy as fuck and I barely remember the end of the evening at all. <laughs> And after that whole massive, gigantic pile of carnage, on Sunday we tend to go around to my friend Peach's house, Peach who writes DearScotland.com. We have margaritas, we record the Song by Toad podcast, and then we go somewhere for a relaxing drink in the evening, somewhere totally unrelated to South by Southwest. And then next year we come back and do it all again. Before we go though, on a scale of 1 to 10, how jaded and broken are we? Ian. Really? Patrick, how jaded and broken are you? I'm quite jaded, I'm not very broken. Uh, yeah, seven I'm... out of ten? Seven, we'll go seven. So, I'd go seven. A solid seven. Yeah. I know I feel like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I would say six. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.